まあ、当然第1作目で、uh, Resident Evil 1 is a very special title for me because it was basically a band of,、uh, of creators、uh, of not unknown creators sticking together believing in an idea putting together a game but not knowing if people would like it not knowing if it would sell、uh, very worried、uh, not having any confidence in the product but just Hoping, having a dream, so to speak. And for me, it was my first year in the gaming industry, and I was actually working on that project. So for me, it was a very special time because it all was so new, and there was the risk,、uh, and there was the will it pay off or will it, will it not, and just worked very, very hard.、Uh, but in the end, you know, the,、uh, well, you know what happened. Hello? Is anyone here? Hello? Uh, hello? <laughs> For two, the thing I remember most is that there is so much pressure. There's even more pressure after you get a hit game. Trying to make a hit sequel than there is probably when you're trying to make an original game because, at least with an original game, you know, if it doesn't hit, then oh well. With a hit game, it's almost expected with the sequel that it's going to be a hit as well, and if it isn't, then you really、uh, upset the audience. So we had all this pressure, and I, the thing I remember most about that time was we had gotten a build to about 80% of the game done, and we took a step back and looked at it. Utter shock, disbelief was that this was not Resident Evil. This was not what it should be. So we started from the beginning again. But it's tough choices like that, that you have to make that if they pay off, they pay off big. And that was the right decision because when 2 came out, it was a very good game. With Resident Evil 3, we initially had planned to make it a side story,、uh, not an actual bona fide sequel.、Uh, but then, halfway through the development,、uh, we realized that, yeah, we, we should probably put a 3 on this because that's the kind of quality we had gotten.、Um, that being said, the whole goal was to try and get another Resident Evil out in the shortest possible time,、uh, which is always rough for any development team. That's the last thing you want to hear. So, we put it together. In the end, we came up with a game that was more action y、uh, than necessarily horror,、uh, more emphasis on the action probably. But as you know, the game later、uh, turned into a hit movie、um, with characters like Carlos and Jill and the Nemesis. So that left a lot of、uh, that left an impact、uh, as well on the、uh, game industry as well as the movie industry. No one is immune. Resident Evil. Code Veronica was a project that, that ended up being delayed,、uh, taking a lot longer than we had expected. But fortunately, with that, the, the contents,、uh, the length of the game also became longer and longer and longer、uh, as the game、uh, progressed. And for it not being、uh, considered a, a numbered Resident Evil necessarily, because it has the subtitle, it still had a lot of Resident Evil like、uh, elements to it with、uh, the boxes.、Um, it had Chris. It had Claire、uh, from number two, so it, it was very reminiscent of a、uh, Resident Evil game. I never ever in my wildest dreams or, or nightmares for that、uh, ever imagined I would be remaking the game that I had created、uh, that so many years ago. And yet here I was, 
remaking it with uh, an emphasis on uh, graphics and looks, uh, as well as slightly changing the gameplay. Um, we had a good time doing it, uh, but let's just say I'd rather not remake it again after I'd already remade it the second time. Um, excuse me, sir. Sir. It's probably a common uh, pattern, formula within Capcom, but to do the old prequel, go back into the roots of an actual game and some of its characters. Uh, this took a uh, supporting character in Resident Evil 1, Rebecca, uh, made her into a main character and introduced a pretty interesting character, Billy, uh, as well. And you get to learn more about Birkin's past as well. So, so by the fact of new uh, story plot or elements uh, giving you more background story and actually making the whole Resident Evil experience seem more deep and more real uh, it served its purpose I think in the Resident Evil uh, collection oh, buddy. It's probably because everything was so new I was so young and uh, it was so much time but number one was probably the thing the, the game I remember the most and uh, Going through and doing kind of a quick history or rundown on all the different games makes me kind of get the shivers uh, or actually be very afraid because it brings back all the memories of how hard we have struggled uh, with each one of these games. None of them have ever been easy. They have always been a lot of time, a lot of hard work, and man, Resident Evil just symbolizes to me hard. <laughs> Rebecca Chambers. Resident Evil